Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Donkey. Welcome back to the last play of Hard West. The last time we left off, we had to rescue Florence from the Mexican town where the Mexican warlord or whatever he is raised the taxes again. Florence went in because she thought she could change his mind, but uh, that didn't quite work out, so now I have to go rescue her. Uh, I also figured out what this 1.50 thing means. I don't know why I hadn't thought of that before. So at the prospector's uh, camp, we unlocked that like point f or 50% um, increase basically. So I guess that increase only works on the uh, like lowest level of the mines. So it's kind of disappointing because we we spent 200 bucks on that, which means we have to make it uh, worth our while. Um, but we will mostly be going for this one and that one because it generally would make us more money. So. I don't know exactly if that's gonna actually end up being all right, but uh, that's all right. Now we know, at least. So uh, I think it's time to go to the Mexican town. We have our first guy with us, uh, Mr. Pat Douglas, who uh, who's not particularly amazing at anything, but uh, he'll be our shotgunner anyway. So let's go to the Mexican town and rescue Florence. Mexican town. There, that was where Florence was being held. He went to rescue her. Let's do it. Alright, I already had a look at all this last time. I don't think I need to really change anything. So yeah, we've got our two long-range gunners now. He's our shotgunner now. Um, we have the pistol, I don't know why. I got the pistol in there. Let's just change that out. I really don't like that when I... I, I, I like I like it when it's consistent. Pistol at the top. Alright, uh, he's not lucky though, which is a shame. But, that's alright. Let's murder people. Florence was locked up. It was time. It, it was the time to get her out and get some payback. Let's do it. You talked with Florence through a barred window. To get her out, you'd need the key. This same key could also be used to lock the guards inside the house. I see. The mission starts with a setup stage. Enemies don't expect an attack and won't shoot you on sight. Ah, okay. Evade enemies. They won't bother until you attack or cross their cone of view. Character P determines cone size. Ah, I see. So they will eventually attack, subdue them to the late uh, reaction. Once suspicious, they will eventually attack. Okay. So... Oh, Jesus. That, okay, that's, that's fairly far away. So here's a Mexican town. Let's have a quick look around. Oh, okay, I guess that's the edge of the map. Right there. And then over here. Okay. Alright, well we can see one guy right there. Subdued him. How does one subdue him? Barrage? No. Like, I assume you don't shoot him in the face with a shotgun. I just got a, just like a general feeling that that's not what you would do to subdue someone. Maybe I should actually change the guns around, because I do actually want the main gun to be the rifle. Switch everyone over. Actually, not you necessarily. Okay, so... Yeah, we could shoot him, but we probably shouldn't do that. So instead... We will start moving. So where... Oh, she's in here, right? Okay, so we can't actually go through there. And I was thinking we should go through there, but that's not going to happen. How does one... I guess we have to go around that way. So he, this, this cone of sight is like... That way, right? Can I, like, not... I saw it before. How do I... There we go. Yeah, right there. But I assume he moves as well. So let's, um... I don't know if half cover would cover me. Well, fucking, let's find out. Oh, I can't actually run that far. Oh! Oh, I see, because we're just walking, right? Like, we're, we can't actually dash anywhere, because we're just walking along. We're, we're nobodies, really. Oh, he can walk a lot further now. Alright, you go behind there. Oh, because I, I gave him the boots. Oh. What's that? What's that little icon? How do I subdue someone? That's the real question right now. Uh, Alright, well, let's move everyone else first. You. Let's go over here. Oh, I probably shouldn't walk in front of that window. But I've done it. It's too late now. I really should like keep looking if I see any more enemies. Oh, I actually have seen another enemy. Where? Subdue. Oh! Select enemy to subdue for four turns. Based on character, he'd subdue again to prolong the effect. Ah, I see. But I want to see where the other guy is. I don't, I don't want to actually like... Oh, there we go. Ah, okay. So what's his uh, cone like? Oh, it's very small. 
It's based on heat. His heat is four, so I guess that if for him, no, for him. Oh, they're all four. Never mind. I thought I had someone at three, but I guess I don't. Yeah, we're just strolling along. Like we're not bothering anyone. We're all friends here. Okay. Um, I guess if he has the most most movement, I should just guide him up ahead. I guess, right? I don't like this. I'm gonna fuck this up. There's no I am. I, I'm really terrible at stealth games, so this isn't really a stealth game though, that's the thing. Well, not like, I mean, we're trying to be stealthy, but not like... in a stealth game kind of way. Okay, we can turn that over. That's a good idea, let's do that. I guess, I mean, if anything, we're setting up cover for a fight that is inevitably gonna happen, right? Surprised how little enemies we found so far. And that these enemies actually don't move. Okay. You, sir. Ah, we're actually right next to the Jokey already. I didn't realize. This is locked, though. Of course it is. So we have to go through this. I guess. How do we even get in there then? Oh, don't tell me we have to actually go through here. That would be unfortunate. I imagine we can't get through the gate, right? We're gonna need to get a key to unlock the door to get to the key. Oh, maybe we can go through the window, can we? No. Otherwise I'll be able to get there, right? What a shit window. Uh, well, let's just move up, I guess. We'll see in a second, I suppose. Oh. Okay, so that guy saw us. But... We need to subdue him. Okay, well, let's get to the door. Maybe we can, like, catch him as he comes outside or something. I don't know. Uh, let's get him over there as well. Why not? This isn't going to end well. Is he still suspicious? I mean, he's not. we can't see him there anymore. Right, how are we going to get over here, though, is the real question. It currently looks like we don't have any way of getting in there. Grab it. Come on. Do it. No. Um, oh, we can't go any further back there. See, the thing is, we, uh, I guess we maybe could have gone over here. Maybe we were supposed to do that. I don't know. Like, I don't see any way in here right now. Let's uh, start heading back with one person. Maybe I do need to somehow get around him. Like, what was his... I guess I can't see his cone right now, I need to have him selected. No, there's no way you can- no, you can't get around that, unless you are supposed to subdue him. Maybe you keep one person on this guy at all times, and you keep one person on that guy over there at all times, and then etc, etc. Maybe that's how that works. Let's start heading back. That guy's already suspicious, though. Yeah, there's no way in there. So yeah, let's head back. Oh crap, there's... Oh fuck, I won't... Right in front of the stupid window again. <laughs> that leisurely walk we're taking. I'm gonna stand right behind him. He doesn't know. He's clueless. Right, you just have to make a sprint for it. That suspicious guy right there. Alright, we're gonna wait here. I, need, I just need to get him over there. So I guess we just leave one person on, like, a guy. Because we only have four turns otherwise. Which we might be able to get to that key within four turns. How do we still get in there, though, is, is the question. I guess there's a door there, which is probably not locked then. Okay. Okay, why don't you start then? Oh, you're already... Okay, never mind. That's end turn. Yeah, I want you to subdue this guy. Still have no idea how this is going to work. Oh. We intimidated him. <laughs> of course we did. We can actually see a third person now. Ah, up there. Okay, his cone is fucking small though, so that shouldn't matter. Uh, alright, what is this? Subdue. Guard. Select enemy subdue for four turns. Okay. It actually switch uh, it switches between me and him. See, I don't want to do it with him, but this guy is intimidated. I don't want him to turn around or something. Let's just do it. No, let's do it with him. Right there. 
Oh no, that takes his turn. I forgot. Well, that, that's alright then. We'll do it with him. It's up to you. Confirm. Take him the fuck out. Stick him up. Guard of Subdued will call alarm when the timer runs out. Ah, I see. Okay. Ah, okay. So he's only got three turns left now. Alright. Well, I guess we probably don't even have to go to him. We could just go around him. Uh, there's a guy in there, though, so we gotta watch out for that. Stick him up! I guess we can go right there. That should be good. Yeah, I think we have to, like, stay on this, like, edge here. Because if we go across the windows, he's just gonna see us again. Is there another guy? Oh, yeah, there's, oh, there's two guys right in there. There's a ricochet target right there. That's not gonna help anyone, now. Alright, so do him again. Stick him up! Oh, is that the sixth? Really? Is it just, like, constantly increasing? Alright, well, we should get on this side of the wall, I guess. Maybe we shouldn't, actually. I don't know. Six turns should be enough, though. I don't know what that free means, then, though. That's the thing. Let's just get him over here, and we can subdue him again next turn. Alright, how about you get to the door? Uh, I gotta make sure he goes the right way. That route? No, I don't want you to take that route. I want you to take this route. We'll just move him there next turn, then. Oh, shit, the guy saw us anyway. No, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, just go right there. Find the jail key. Working on it, lads. Okay, so can you... Since we... How, how far is the range on that? Oh, that's pretty close. Okay, so if we go to the door right now... See that? And then you go to the door. And we should be able to subdue him from here next turn. Alright, can you subdue this guy then? You cannot fucking enemies when other enemies can see you. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, maybe we should stay on this side then. He, I mean, he's still got five turns, so I don't think we need to. Maybe I should start moving him over. So his, this guy's currently subdued, he's got his hands up. But this guy can't see him, but he can see me, apparently. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, we should we should be able to get the key in five turns and maybe even get back to him within that same time span. All right. So can you do this right now? No. Oh, the additional number on a suspicious enemy icon says how many turns they will start combat. Okay. So I can't do it right now. Maybe if I open the door with one guy. What if you walk in here? I mean, he's looking that way, so technically we should be able to just walk up behind him anyway, right? We opened the door, but... It's yours. You could release her right away. Or first, lock the guards inside to make sure they didn't try to stop you. Alright, I guess we'll do that. It's probably the more risky of things to do. Oh yeah, because we need to open... Okay, so yeah, we go... Close that. We subdue this guy, close that. And then it looks like that would do, right? Yeah, it looks like there's only two things I need to, oh, I need to, okay, that's the guard door, I see. Alright, an interesting mission, this, by the way. So I don't think I even need to subdue him. Let's just get him over here. Get behind that fella. Stay away from the window. Oh, unless, okay, that works. Yeah, let's just get around this guy. So you're gonna start going to that door. That guy's gonna see him, though, I assume. Eh, his cone doesn't actually, it shouldn't see him. So let's hope it doesn't. So we're gonna go right there. I think I need to simultaneously. Oh, shit, there's a guy right there as well. We've got regeneration, yeah! Okay. I need you back in action, sir. Uh, well, I guess we can go right here. How long has this guy got left? Three turns, okay. I mean, I may need to send someone over there to take care of him. I don't think I need to subdue this guy. Okay, can you lock that? How do you do that? Alright. Okay. I need to go on this side, it seems. Okay. This should be fine, right? I mean, this guy... Let's find out. All the doors were locked tight with the master key. Getting away would be much easier now. Good. Very nice. Okay, so I've got two turn. Oh shit, we might actually run out of time here. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Exactly. 
Because I need to, I need like two turns to actually get over there. Okay, so he needs to get out of here now. Is the, is the, the thing? Uh, I guess I can walk right over there. That should be, yeah, that's out of his range. This guy is fast as fuck. If I go this way, no, I run straight through. Yeah, I can't go past that, so you have to. Nope, not that way. Yes, that way. Just walk along. No one cares. Okay. You, or you're the one with the massive movement range. Okay. Maybe I need to subdue this guy so I can subdue that guy. Oh, I still need to, I need to actually go here as well. Oh, fuck. We need to actually go around like this. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, he's one turn away, but I can't subdue him right now because someone's watching me. Fuck. This could be bad. But you, yes, you can subdue him. Come up. And then hopefully that means I can subdue. Yes, perfect. Okay. Stick him up. Alright, so there, uh, well, he's up for five turns. This guy's up for four turns. Can you subdue him as well? No, you can move a little closer down. Okay, so we gotta go basically like straight across like this. Gotta stay away from him. Alright. Uh, yeah, you subdued so we can actually do that. Let's do it. Enemy turn my ass. Okay, so now I gotta actually walk past this guy without him seeing me. This cone, that looks like I should be able to do that, right? Just about. And this guy shouldn't see me either. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Doesn't look like it. No, should be fine. Let's risk it. Let's risk it all. Careful, Jildor's guard in the opening of a star combat. Oh, okay. Really? Okay, so there's... Well, we know... Okay, so I guess we just gotta start counting enemies then. So these three are stuck in there, but I assume they can still shoot outwards. So we got one, two, three, four, five guys here at least. Hmm. That seems pretty tough. I wonder who gets their turn first is the thing. Because if I just sit right here and just kill this guy instantly... If I put him... Eh, probably same place, really. I can actually turn that over and make it full cover as well. Shoot that guy instantly. There's a guy up there, but eh, he's going to be in a bit of trouble though, I assume. Who is he? Father. I imagine she'll be joining the combat as well. <sighs> I don't know. Let's, um, let's turn this thing over at least. I mean, why not? Alright, I want you behind that as well. So he sub uh, let's subdue him for another turn. Or another, like... Actually, I don't need to do that, do I? Yeah, whatever. Okay, so this guy's gotta get subdued. Oh crap, someone can see me. The guy up there can see me. Uh, um, you might not see me if I go right here, actually. Maybe you can, but I'm a full cover, so maybe not. Alright. Why don't you... Maybe I should go back here. That's a little far away, though. He's the guy with the shotgun, so yeah, I don't really want to do that. Let's just ship do this guy. Up to seven turns. Okay, he's a six. Let's just get over here now. And then I think if we can subdue that guy next turn, that's when we'll start, like... No, he's intimidated. Right, can we subdue him? Yes, perfect. Stick him up. I like how we, get, we let them keep their guns in their hands. I may as well keep subduing him. Oh, I'm only got to a maximum of seven, it seems. I can actually shoot him as well. <laughs> that's actually not a bad idea. Maybe I should, that's how I shoot initiate combat. I mean, we lock the guards in there. If we can just get three kills instantly the moment I do that. Maybe it's be, it'd be worth getting this guy up there, killing this guy immediately. No, he's not going to have very good cover anyway. I think that should be fine. I think next turn we're just going to go for the attack. Let's just uh, subdue. It doesn't do anything because he's already on seven turns, but whatever. Okay, let's open the door. Let's find out how this works. If this is actually going to start combat or not. It says it does. Last. Florence was free. Now all you had to do was dispatch the guards outside. Okay, so he's gonna die instantly is the problem. Oh no, he's still got one AP, so he can fire at this guy. Only that guy, not that guy. He's gonna take a shot immediately, but he should survive that. I should be able to kill two of them, three of them immediately then. Uh, ricochet anything? 
Nah. Alright, let's use one of these bad boys then. Let's just kill this guy. There's no reason not to. I guess I could have moved away, but nah, it's alright. You can move, but you only have five. You actually don't... Do you have a gun? You have a pepper box. I don't know where you got that, but alright. Let's move you into full cover. Okay. Oh, she has another AP. Okay, well, that's alright. We'll just keep her right there. Uh, I suppose I could move her outside. Actually, it looks like I can't move her outside. Oh, because he's blocking away right now. Makes sense. Okay. What have we got? We got 100% chance to hit. 100%, no, 69. 27. What have you got on that guy? 64. Okay. 62 on him. That's interesting. Lone Shark El Oscuro. Well, this guy needs to die, and I suppose that guy... Well, the thing is, he's in better cover from him, but he could move then. Uh, can we get any info on these folks or anything? Can we see what kind of gun he has or something? No, I don't want to shoot him. If anything's gonna, sh anyone's going to shoot him, it would be him. Unless... Uh, oh, you switched back to... Oh, right, this shotgun. Right, I see. Uh, 100%. 65. Fifty-four, no. So what is your... You have a rifle. 169. I think we just gotta go for the 69 guy with him. And then the 100 guy with the other guy. Unless we go for the guy up there with him. And then take the 100 with him. So, and then he takes the shot for the guy up here. 62. I guess he's probably more valuable to kill than him. But he's closer. Ah, fuck it. We'll just go for the higher chance to hit. Okay, so that would be... Uh, you... Let's see. You killing this guy, or hit, trying to kill this guy, at least. At least kill him. Oh! Okay, that's the wrong guy. Well, that sort of sucks, because that just completely changes everything. I thought it was on him. I don't know why. <laughs> Damn it. Why wasn't it? That's really fucked. Uh, you're gonna have to sit there. Okay, this turn could end very badly. Very, this this could the entire thing could end very badly very quickly. Okay, he's intimidated. That's good. He's not gonna. No, he's like he's gonna have a shot. But he missed. Minus 50 luck though. There's still a guy in there too. I need to remember. Okay, so can anyone have a crack? Yes, but very shitty crack. 34. Because I can walk around. And kill this guy without any trouble. I think I'm gonna do that right here. If I move him there, just shoot that guy from the side. That guy can't shoot him there. That's good enough. I'll probably even send him up there to kill, take care of that guy too. Ooh, uh, no, we didn't have any ricochets available. Yeah, let's do that. I forgot we had the barrage ability. Fires a shot at every enemy up to six times. Holy fuck, that's insane. I really need to use that. But not right now, because this guy needs to die. Alright, good job, daddy. Wonder if I should go over there and see if I can get a crack on the guy inside. Uh, or if we should just back up a little bit. Let him come out a, a, uh, to us. You are gonna go... No, you're gonna stay in here. You don't. You can't really do much. If I move right there, she probably should be in fairly good cover still. Yeah, we'll do that. Move around a little bit. You can end your turn. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to... End. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I ended the entire turn. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's go... We know he's right there. I can actually have a shot at him right here. No, I can't. Never mind. Oh, can I actually have anything? Uh, I don't see anything. Well, see, the thing is, I could move right here, but then it might not be a flank. I assume it is, but I assume if I go here, it'll be like 100% flank, so I can just shoot him. No problem. So we'll do that. I'll be an out... Out of cover, but it's fine. Vengeance was yours. Alright, there's still one guy though, and he's in there somewhere. So let's just move you over here. And let's move you over. If he's gonna come out, he's gonna come out over there. So let's move you over here. Alright, reload your gun. And you are gonna... You're gonna make a run for it just over here. No need to risk anything with you. We came here to rescue you. Don't want you to die now. You're gonna reload your gun. 
because why not? Oh, we can actually get shot here by that guy. That could be annoying. Okay, there's the guy. He's having a crack. And he misses. Ah, he's gonna have a crack as well then. Oh, he's gonna be flanking. Okay, he missed. Thank God. Um, right, so you should have a pretty good shot on him, right? 60... For 4 damage. 40% chance. Uh, logically speaking, that might kill him, but... I can't really risk moving him into any other location. At risk of getting shot by him. Although I suppose if I move him right there, I'll be in cover. Oh, it actually doesn't say he'll be in cover. Uh, but I, then I can fan on him and he'll just he'll probably just die, is the thing. Yeah, let's just take that. I, I should be fine going there, right? Let's fan oh crap, fanning takes... Shit, I forgot about that. Well, at least I got 100% chance to hit. Fanning takes uh, 2 AP. Crap. Well, let's just take the shot anyway. I'll have to move the other guy over. Finish him off. Should be possible, I imagine. Oh yeah, that should be possible for sure. Uh, yeah, move him right there. That's a shotgun he's got, but that should still be fine, right? 53, what if we switch gun? 60. Please kill him. This is the right guy. Yes, it's the right guy. Please kill. Please. Oh my god, you idiot. Okay, she's not going to be able to do that. Actually, she has a 44% chance. Well, she might be able to rescue him. Come on, lady. 50. Don't disappoint me now. Yes. He lost a whole bunch of luck just now, so that helps. And there was no one left to pursue you. Oh, nice. We don't have to kill those guys. We don't have to run away from them. It just succeeds. Sweet. That took out the entire episode, though, that mission. Well done, us. Well done. We got Jack of Hearts, Ace of Hearts as carts. You were reunited again. The two of you returned home safe and sound. A few days later, Father came to you in panic with the amulet. It was falling apart in his hands. It appeared Father had been cheated by the strange gentleman who had been so devastatingly convincing. Well, I'm glad I, did con uh, I didn't go for whatever power he offered me. Uh, now affected by amulet curse. Father's no longer... Oh, Warren is also affected. Florence is also affected. Uh, but we got Shady Joint and Slave Fugitive. What the hell? No one can meddle with the balance of the world and get away with it. Even uh, ever onwards, Father was jinxed by the curse of Trinket. Forevermore, he brought bad luck wherever he went. Well done, Father. Great fucking job, Ray. Ray? A, even. So that's where we're supposed to go. Uh, minus five luck per turn instead of plus five. Yeah, no real surprise. All right, what do we get for cards before we end this episode? Oh, game. Okay, there we go. We got the Jack of Hearts, Shadow Kill. Revenge an enemy not protected by sunlight. Or ravage an enemy not protected by sunlight. Plus two defense bonus as well. Okay, so I assume that just murders the fuck out of a guy not protected by sunlight. I see. Shadow kill. We have four people now. Sweet. And Ace of Hearts, Ability Crippler, passive. Every time you score... Every hit you score cripples the target. Ooh, interesting. That's probably good for him as well. We, I, we got so many cards now, though. It might be worth, like, actually making things. Um, let's give him that. See what he gets from that. Han or a pair, right? Ace of Hearts. Uh, cripples the target. Ravage and enemy not protected by sunlight. I don't really want that necessarily. He's got the other one though. That's the sunlight one. Yeah, regenerate one not in direct sunlight. But that, that, that's not like a combo or anything. Um, so we got an ace of hearts as well. Have we got any error? No, no aces. We got some hearts though, but not enough to really make anything. Um, so I guess. Let's see. I really should, like, make more combinations, I guess. Every hit your score cripples the target. I guess that should really be his as well, though, is the thing. He still just has a high card bonus. He's, like, really good right now, and everyone else is terrible. <laughs> um, and then we have the Ravage and Enemy not protected by sunlight. I don't know how that's going to work exactly. Giving it to him doesn't do anything for him, because he doesn't have any combos. So I could give him the Jack of Diamonds, so at least he has the combo, and then st he still remains the bonus. Which means he would start regenerating. He's got 6 HP, so it's not as good on him. 
But he is the shotgunner, isn't he? Uh, yes, he is a shotgunner. So I guess that makes sense. He'd be more, he'd be more likely to get the hit. Not that I've really used that so far, but that's like my logic behind it, I guess. Okay, so yeah, he gets the plus four movement bonus, which actually is good for him as well if he's going to be a shotgun. His movement is absolutely through the roof right now. He's got 23 as opposed to this guy's 14, 15, 15. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty fast. Um, so that makes sense. Right, you have the stupid pepper box. Actually, that's not stupid at all. Well, it's... Oh yeah, we're out one weapon because I sold that little pistol first, but I think I'd rather use the pepper box. Yeah, sword range as well. One more damage, one more ammo. Minus five aim, though. Her aim is 45 currently. Does that, like, increase? No, it doesn't. Um, two heat, damage versus half cover is better. Okay, so... Uh, I guess I'll give her that as well, but I don't want her to be a shotgunner, that's for sure. I guess I could give her um, that, but she has minus five aim. I don't want her to really hold a long-range weapon with her terrible aim. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, I think this setup is alright. I wonder if I should not give him the boots anymore, because I don't think he needs that. Like, he, it's good for a shotgunner to have that much movement, but is it really that good to have that much? I think that's a little bit too much, perhaps. So let's, we'll give those to him, so he's got a little bit more moon as well. Okay. I think that's uh, the setup we're going to go with. So... I'm going to end it there, and this is actually the first time I'm going to close the game, so I, I hope it actually saves, because there's no save button or anything, so I don't know how it's going to work, but I guess you'll find out next time. So, for now, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I think next time we're going to probably do a little bit more prospecting before I head over here, because, I mean, lifting the curse would probably be go a good idea, but there might be a fight here, although this is a different thing, so maybe it's not. We'll, 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 we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do first, but we'll see. Anyway, um, I probably want to go to the prospector's camp first, just to see how much those things cost now. But we'll see about that next time. So until then, have a good day and goodbye.